Hey hello guys, it's How to Attack Simplified back again with another easy tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to actually fix the white screen glitch in Roblox. Now it probably has to do with your graphics card and the settings in your windows. So we're going to get right into it. Now the first thing that you want to do is go to search and type in a Roblox player. Now as you can see Roblox player pops up and you right click it and go to the open file location. Now once the file location opens up you can see here the Roblox player again now you once more right click it and what you will do next is actually go and into the properties right here now once the properties open up you can close the little folder right here and what you will need to do is go to the compatibility and here in the compatibility you can run the compatibility shooter the troubleshooter and check if there's any uh, yeah, errors that Windows can solve it by itself or you can simply uh, run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8. Now it's very important you set it to the latest Windows version availability, available for the compatibility mode or you go down to your settings and what you also have to do is disable the full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator. Now once you've changed all these settings simply press apply and try and restart your Roblox. Now if it still gives the error what you could and do and try which will probably help you is go down to your browser and from here make sure to first check out what kind of graphics card you have. Now I have a GeForce RTX graphics card from Nvidia so what I will do is actually type in GeForce RTX latest latest drivers now what this will do it will come up with the Nvidia website and here you can download the official Nvidia graphic card drivers now it's very important that you know the the, the driver that you're using so let's say you have the product type the product search uh, uh, series and from here fill out all the details and press search and from there you can download the driver if you don't know which driver you have what you could also do is download the automatic driver updates right here and follow the .exe file and from there download the latest drivers now if you still get any other questions regarding this tutorial or if this tutorial has helped you please leave it in the comments down below leave a like and subscribe it helps me out a lot and thank you for watching